Lenovo has just made a bold, if not disruptive, move in the world of workstation computing with the announcement of the new ThinkStation P620. What makes this workstation tower so compelling is that it is, according to Lenovo, the first and only professional workstation on the market that supports an AMD Ryzen 3995 Threadripper Pro processor at the heart of it, bringing a new level of power and performance to a single CPU machine, and which exceeds the performance of even dual CPU systems. This machine looks like a beast, folks. Those who work in post-production, for example, such as VFX artists, computer animators, video editors, and compositors, require the fastest and most powerful computers available, and the Lenovo P620 with the Ryzen Threadripper Pro seems to be a very compelling solution for those who crave and require the highest levels of performance. Traditionally, top-tier workstation manufacturers like Lenovo have relied on Intel Xeon or Core CPUs to power their single and dual socket machines. By taking a bold step such as this, Lenovo not only benefits from the significant performance enhancements that AMD offers, but validates AMD's expansion into the realm of top-shelf OEM workstations. AMD's line of Ryzen Threadripper Pro chips is their most powerful. Below that line sits the Ryzen 3, 5, and 7, which are popular with serious gamers. However, it is the more advanced Threadripper Pro line which not only contains a higher number of cores and threads, but has advanced features that workstations require. Intel's dominance of the workstation market now looks to have some serious competition. 64 cores on a single socket CPU? What? As mentioned before, one of the most compelling things about the new ThinkStation P620 is that it is available with a single Threadripper Pro 3995 CPU, which includes an amazing 64 cores and 128 threads of processing power. It also has a 288 megabyte cache. In fact, according to Lenovo, it is the only workstation available with 64 multi-threaded cores, an industry first, whether that's on a single or dual core system. Why it wasn't too long ago that it was impressive to see a dual core Xeon system with 28 physical cores. And now a single CPU with 64 cores? What? Prior to this machine, 18 cores was the maximum amount of cores that a system with a single CPU could support. And the highest a dual processor system could handle was 56. If you want to save some money, however, the AMD Threadripper Pro CPU options on the Lenovo 620 will also include the 3975 with 32 cores and 64 threads, the 3955 with 16 cores and 32 threads, and the 3945 with 12 cores and 24 threads. Of course, core count isn't everything. A lot of the performance level of a machine has to do with the clock speed of the CPU. And in the case of the Lenovo P620, it offers clock speeds up to 4.2 GHz. In the case of the Threadripper Pro 3995, that's a very impressive number for a CPU with 64 cores. What? The Lenovo ThinkStation P620 also features PCIe 4.0 with 128 lanes of high-speed PCIe bandwidth. This will provide extremely fast I.O. to and from the bus. The AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3995 also features eight memory channels for a high bandwidth and super quick memory access. As we can see in this chart, which compares the Threadripper Pro with AMD's Ryzen chips and Intel CPUs, the other chips support less memory, fewer PCI lanes, and in the case of Intel, no support yet for PCIe 4.0, and less memory channels. In this interesting chart, 
the performance of a single socket 64 core AMD Threadripper Pro workstation is compared to a dual socket machine with two Intel Xeon 8280 CPUs with 28 cores each for a total of 56 physical cores. Interestingly, we can see that in practically every test, including Cinebench, Blender, Spec ViewPerf, Unreal Engine, Arnold, After Effects, and others, the single 64 core Threadripper Pro beat the dual core system considerably, in some cases more than one and a half times faster. The Lenovo ThinkStation P620 truly looks like it's going to be a race car of a machine. Let's talk about the GPUs. The ThinkStation P620 will have flexible GPU configurations. This includes support for up to two extremely powerful NVIDIA Quadro RTX 8000 or four RTX 4000 graphics cards. That's some serious GPU muscle. But there will also be less expensive NVIDIA GPU options if you are on a budget. In this era, where the GPU has all but taken over final 3D renders, video encoding, and other tasks that were once regulated to the CPU, the ThinkStation P620 will be a rendering powerhouse and will also be useful in high-level VR and immersive content development. The age of real-time ray tracing has dawned. The new machine will also support high-performance memory, faster storage speeds in part thanks to the PCIe 4.0 bus and M.2 NVMe storage, and also 10 gigabit Ethernet, the new standard in high-speed connectivity. The Lenovo ThinkStation P620 also supports a remarkable 1 terabyte of memory and 20 terabytes of storage. That's a lot of memory, and 20 terabytes of online storage is enough for multiple feature film projects. As mentioned before, the ThinkStation P620 boasts PCIe Gen 4, the only workstation with it available today, according to Lenovo, offering twice the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0. It's so fast that most things plugged into the bus might not even use that bandwidth. However, M.2 storage could use the extra bandwidth. In fact, you should get as much M.2 storage as you can. It's that fast. Take a look at this chart, which compares the time it takes to do sequential reads and writes to a Samsung NVMe drive. PCIe Gen 4 is in red, and PCIe Gen 3 is in orange. In the case of the read, it is almost twice as fast, and in the case of the write, it is more than one and a half times faster. Lenovo ThinkStations are premium products with impressive attention paid to their construction and design. The machine is air-cooled and Lenovo and AMD collaborated together to create a custom-designed heat sink. Being a workstation class machine, it also has enterprise-grade testing, certifications, security, and support from both Lenovo and AMD. Pat Swanson, an IT engineer at Epic Games, creator of Unreal Engine, puts it like this. Previously, we always had to choose between either a high core count or high clock speed. The Lenovo ThinkStation P620, powered by AMD's Ryzen Threadripper Pro processors, is optimized for both aspects in a way that previous CPUs never quite were. It provides groundbreaking performance for everything from professional visualization and simulation to compiling and building for game development. Something else that's quite interesting is that AMD has granted an exclusivity period for the Threadripper Pro in the ThinkStation P620. This allows Lenovo to, I guess, be the only workstation manufacturer that will provide an OEM Threadripper Pro workstation for some time. I don't know how long that period of exclusivity will last, but one thing's for certain, Lenovo will be the first on the market with a 64-core Threadripper Pro workstation. According to Lenovo, the ThinkStation P620 is expected to be available somewhere around late September to early October 2020. The Lenovo ThinkStation P620 workstation will start at $4,599. That will include an AMD Threadripper Pro 3945 
chip, which has 12 cores and 24 threads, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one 256 gigabyte M.2 PCIe SSD, an NVIDIA Quadro P620 GPU, keyboard and mouse, Windows 10, and a three-year on-site warranty. Obviously, the price goes up from there for higher tier components, but that's where it starts. And that's the news about the Lenovo ThinkStation P620 Threadripper Pro single socket workstation. See you next time. What?